in the 19th century, Christmas would make a transition from a carousing holiday for adults into a family celebration featuring children. It became a heartwarming season that lasted for more than a month, one that people would crave all year until it finally arrived. And several figures in America's past played a very important role in producing the Christmas that we know today. For example, have you seen any of the different versions of the movie called A Christmas Carol? You know, that one written by Charles Dickens about the guy named Ebenezer Scrooge. Well, that story is actually a very important part of the evolution of our modern Christmas. Because you have to understand that when Dickens wrote that back in 1843, Christmas at that time was not a popular holiday yet. In fact, most businesses at that time stayed open on Christmas Day. So Dickens wasn't writing about Christmas as it was. He was writing about it as he wanted it to be. And he kind of helped to create a vision for a kind of Christmas holiday that would become, you know, the Hallmark movie version that we love today. If you remember early in the story, um, Scrooge is complaining about feeling pressured to give his employee, Bob Cratchit or Hatchet or something, the day off. And remember, Scrooge says that he felt like giving him the day off was a kind of robbery. Now, we watch that today in the movie and everybody's like, man, Scrooge is a heartless old codger. But that's really because we're seeing the story through modern eyes. Back then, Scrooge's attitude about Christmas didn't make him the anti-Christmas poster boy. It's actually how a lot of factory owners at the time really felt. That story, A Christmas Carol, was so popular in America after coming from England that it actually helped to change the attitudes of both nations. And um, another really influential author in the evolution of Christmas was Washington Irving, who was America's most popular author in the first half of the 19th century. And actually, he's probably the one that did the most to make Christmas the family-friendly holiday that we know today. He wrote about Christmas as a time of joy. He described it as a family holiday with people inviting the poor to their homes. And actually, he's one of the primary reasons why Santa Claus became attached to the American holiday because he wrote about that aspect of Christmas a lot. In fact, I would say that Dickens and Irving are two of the biggest influences on the evolution of Christmas today. And, you know, actually, it's almost a misnomer to talk about the history of Christmas because what Christmas is today is so different in its origins than even the version that existed in England until the 19th century that it almost seems misleading to call them by the same name. Remember, the Puritans and the U.S. government opposed a rowdy, wicked, carnal, wild party that was called Christmas in prior centuries. But when Christmas became the more family-friendly version, even the Puritans embraced it. And again, these are the people that outlawed cake. So it's a big deal that they embraced the more modern version of Christmas, and maybe hopefully they also lightened up a bit as well in the meantime.